it's Stephanie. It's making it with Stephanie time, and we're talking cheesecake because I love cheesecake. Do you love cheesecake? My friend Tammy owns Muddy Paws Cheesecake Company, and it's pretty delicious. She's gonna teach me how to make it myself because I've never done it before. Let's go, come on. Hi, this is Tammy. Hello. She owns Muddy Paws Cheesecake and she's the queen of cheesecake. And if you don't believe me, you better get down here and eat one. I'm here. Because Tammy's gonna teach me how to make a cheesecake because I've never made one before. It sounds delicious. I've eaten cheesecake, I enjoy cheesecake, but making one kind of freaks me out. This girl has been making cheesecake for a long ass time and she's gonna give me some tips on how not to screw it up because sometimes I get a little overzealous and I'm like, I can do this, and then it does. <laughs> so I basically have zero cheesecake skill except I eat them. Um, and I'm a good cook. I, I can bake all right. I yeah. can put, make some cookies. I've never made one before. Oh, lie. Jello no bake. <laughs> I've made a no bake and they're disgusting. I would like to learn a few tips on how to make a quality cheesecake. Side note, Tammy is not giving away any of her secrets because then you all open up your own muddy paws and steal all her business, but she's gonna give us some really successful tips on how not to make a shitty cheesecake. We're gonna make ass kicking mofo cheesecake, right? That. Other than cheesecake in the um, I've been doing it for 22 years. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so they, you have you have some experience behind you. Yes. <laughs> well, and I grew up in um, Chicago, so this is actually Chicago cheesecake, Chicago style, um, which is really similar to New York style. People ask me that all the time, what the difference is, but it's um, Chicago and New York are really similar. It's just mostly the crust and the height that make a difference. But they're both going to be really creamy, natural. Which one's taller? New Yorkers, New York. cheesecake is, is taller. And it's, so Chicago has more eggs in it. Oh, okay. See? So first fun fluffier. fact of the day. Tell us a little bit about your options. You have a lot of flavors, like one or two, 10, 20? A little more than that. <laughs> we have 222 on the menu. Excellent. We have another oh 600, well, a total of 640 that we make um, in all that. Those, a lot of those flavors aren't listed. Mm -hmm. So if you have something in mind you want, custom. we, we custom can make it for you. Cake. Custom cheesecake. What is your most popular flavor? Hands down, raspberry swirl. Really? Yeah. Not I know. chocolate? Not chocolate. Huh. No, nope. raspberry swirl, New York, turtle, those turtle. three. Um, key lime. Key lime. Chocolate. It's probably five. And actually, um, number six would be like espresso Kahlua, mm -hmm. or coffee, Kahlua, coffee liqueur and um, espresso ground cheesecake. My my favorite thing about you is of your cheesecakes, you have a lot of alcohol-based cheesecakes. They do, well, look, <laughs> I'll show you the booze later. I really thought that chocolate would be oh, tops. Well, we have 60 flavors of chocolate, so it's not like we don't sell a lot of chocolate cheesecake. But something about berries and cream. And they're trying to pretend just it's healthy. It goes together. And it is healthy, it actually. Is diet food. <laughs> it, it, I, I answer that question all the time. People are like, oh, I have to watch my diet. Or whatever. I'm like, no, don't, because, because it's, it's so low in sugar, it's so high in protein, it's only 200 calories protein. a slice. Um, yep, and it's all your basic food groups in perfect unison and perfect combination. Where do I start? I obviously need fruit and eggs, yeah. right? Well, the biggest thing, I mean, I will say is, it's kind of the basics, it's starting with great ingredients. We do start with farm fresh ingredients. We try to always, as much as possible, use organic, uh, natural, local ingredients anytime we possibly can. Sometimes, Butterfinger, sorry, gotta just buy that. <laughs> First, I'm going to crack some eggs that we're going to put in there. So I'm going to crack them first, um, just so we can make sure there's no shells that go into the batter. So we crack them first and then put them in. So in here is just this all is of just, the cream cheese? This is just the cream cheese. And um, basically, when I tell people when I'm turning in chefs, I might like, just beat the shit out of it. So we're going to turn on the cream cheese part and get that going. We're going to add our sugar. This is a massive mixer, I just like to add. I mean, I know everyone can see that, but this kind of kicks my KitchenAid's ass. <laughs> well, and this is a little teeny tiny I know, baby. the one behind us, you could mix up a human. Does it have a name? You know, no, but we could establish one today. I have to think about that. 
bad bitch. Sour cream. Add our vanilla. And here, you hold that. I'm the spatula holder. Yep, she's, you're doing a good job of it. Oh, I just got on my nails. <laughs> you don't want to skimp. The best vanilla makes all the difference. Now the eggs, yep. How many cakes would this make? So this is a tiny batch. It's five cakes. Tiny. It's super tiny. How many cheesecakes do you make a, a morning? Um, on I, I would say an average would be 60 to 80. What about so, wedding season? Um, it can really go up to 120 cakes, um, you know, when we bake. That's crazy. But um, we do bake every other day because they take um, a good 24 to 40 hours to set. We always have about 100 cakes every day stocked in at least 30 flavors. Because it's all dairy, they actually freeze better than they refrigerate. The freezer keeps them from drying out. And a dry cheesecake is a nasty cheesecake. Exactly. <laughs> We do graham crust, um, and you know, this is the other thing with um, New York cheesecake makes it a little different. They often do a shortbread crust. That is the one that makes ours different. Is we do a graham crust, which is um, true to a Chicago cheesecake. We offer six kinds of crusts here, so if you want a shortbread crust, we can do it. If you want a gluten-free crust, we can do it. If you want a nut crust that is sugar-free, gluten-free, vegan, we can do that. We can do Oreo crust, we can do Girl Scout cookie crust. Is it so hard to like just not stick your finger in and just... <laughs> I, when, when I first started out, yes. Now, you're over it. You're now like, I'm kind of over it. Just go ahead and kind of smooth your crust out. You want to get it kind of, you know, even, and then just kind of pinch it around the sides first. You want it to be homemade and look pretty, and but it can be, you know, it's going to be natural. Is this good? Look at you. Hired. It's perfect. I have a new job. Look at. Find me a See, cheesecake. you're a natural cheesecaker. Yay! I'm a natural cheesecake eater. So you also have to be a beefcake to lift this massive we, mixing bowl? We are very strong here at Muddy Paws. Do you have to stir it at all? Um, we are going to swirl it. To swirl it. To swirl. And you just want to get it all the way through to the bottom without wrecking your crust. That looks awesome. I'm going to use that as a facial for about a minute. <laughs> Do you like Butterfinger? Not at all. Not at all? Well, no. you don't, can't have any. Okay, it's a lot like the raspberry swirl. We just kind of put it in there and we swirl it in. You customize everything, basically. We do. We want people to feel, you know, feel happy. Like, cheesecake for everyone. Cheesecake for everyone. Yeah, exactly. We're not about paychecks around here. We're about making you happy. Now, this is the one I've had my eye on for yeah. quite some time. Well, I'm doing this one just <laughs> for you. <laughs> St. Patty's Day, we'll go through a hundred of these. Oh my gosh. So, um, it's real Baileys. And we're going to mix that in so it's completely mixed. Baileys and cheesecake. Mm -mm -mm. Exactly. How much does a cheesecake weigh? They're around four pounds. I love how you're full of facts. You're very knowledgeable <laughs> on the cheesecake, all that is cheesecake. I suck at everything else, but I'm good at cheesecake. <laughs> we can cook these guys? Yeah, we can put these in the oven. Excellent. So you're not going to tell us how long you're cooking it for, at what temperature, because it ain't none of your business. <laughs> this is part of the secret of how they're not cracking is, and why they're fantastic. That is the number one secret, and that is the one thing people call and ask me. <laughs> and there's certain things I'll tell them and certain things I won't. And usually I say, just come here and eat. On the blog, just so you know, I'm going to include two cheesecake recipes that Tammy has given some thumbs up to. It's not her recipe, because you ain't getting that, no. but it will be a close second. Yeah. And then you'll go buy the ingredients and realize how, how expensive they are and how much work it is. And you'll enjoy your cheesecake when you'll come here and visit. Exactly. <laughs> and then compare. And then you'll never make cheesecake again and only buy it from Tammy. It's fun to make it one time. It's soft and creamy and perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Exactly. Muddy Paws is perfect. It's so perfect. Do people still say that? Do you want Muddy Paws cheesecake? Because I'm going to eat it all. But tomorrow, there might be some more. And if you want to get some, Tammy has a website and delicious options for you. And how can people get a hold of you? Um, they can call, email, um, they can stop in. Those are the three ways. 
really good with social media. You can tweet at us, Facebook us, you can email, call, whatever your preference is. You can text me if you got my number. Every single day we've got 100 cakes available and at least 32 flavors. That's crazy. And uh, we only need three days notice for a flavor of your choice. I love what you're saying, but I can't stop <laughs> staring at this. So, come in. Mm. Get the Baileys, obviously. I'm gonna have a second bite. Oh, that frost is so good. <laughs> Find Muddy Paws, like them. Subscribe to Making It With Stephanie and come on back next time because who knows what weird and wonderful things we're going to be doing. Thank you, Tammy. Mm -hmm. ow, ow! Stephanie, um, I do have a question for you. Yes. Though. Will you marry me? Uh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, that's good. What kind is that? That's turtle. All right.